County, welcome back to What's Next, the show where we sit down with Harrison County Schools alumni and talk about their journey after high school. My name is Sierra Davis and I will be today's host. I have joining with me Lauren Moore. Lauren, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well myself. I'm enjoying this beautiful warm weather outside. It's loving the sunshine. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you graduate? So I graduated in 2019 from South Harrison, and now I'm currently a student at WVU getting ready to graduate in May. Awesome. What's your major at WVU? I'm studying economics with a minor in marketing. Awesome. Very impressive. So pretty much uh, what's next, we dive into the CTE courses, the career and technical education courses that our alumni has taken throughout the Harrison County school system. So what CTE course did you take in high school? So I was actually a dual completer in the business admin track and then the digital media business track as well. Oh, cool. So with the business admin, did that prepare you for your economics and marketing major at all? I really think it did learning just how to like the simple steps on a computer and taking the BCA courses where we actually got to use like the Word and PowerPoint and Excel certifications that actually replaced an entire course here. So I got out of like four credit hours and didn't even have to pay for those again, which was super nice. That's amazing, especially getting to blow through school a little bit. So taking those courses with the Excel, the Microsoft Word, all of that, do you think that prepared you a little more, put you ahead? of your classmates, anything like that? I definitely think it put me ahead, especially with Excel being so like vital in the business college here today. So even in like the accounting courses and the finance courses here, you don't get a calculator on most exams, you just get Excel. So being able to already use that and be comfortable with it really just prepared me even more. Wow, yeah, Excel can be so difficult. I try to study on it all the time just because I'm like I feel like the most successful people are really good at Excel so that is really awesome very beneficial tell us you said you're a dual completer who were your teachers at South Harrison for those courses so I had Mrs. Cole for my entire time and she's absolutely amazing she was even our advisor for the future business leaders of America which I was super involved in and she just did a really fantastic job of making sure like her kids were comfortable and understanding as well as even taking on independent studies so that I was able to be a dual completer. Oh, did a lot of your former classmates who were a business administration completer, were a lot of them in the Business of America Club group? Yeah, so back in when I was in school now, it feels forever, but um, we had a pretty successful chapter. I think we had like 25 students in it um, throughout my time and even was able to serve as a state officer and run for national office, getting to travel across the U.S. and meet other people. And it was a really like important organization to me. And I've been able to continue that into like my college career, being able to go back and present and give workshops and judge their competitions. And now I'm in the collegiate division and being able to compete there and still kind of continue that CTE things that I've learned throughout everything, I guess. Well, I'm glad to hear how passionate you are about it. It seems like you feel pretty secure that you made the right choice. I really think I did. There's the saying at South Harrison, every time I go back, they're like, oh, there's Lauren. She could sell the paint off the walls here because mm -hmm. fundraising was always really big. And I just had those strategies to be able to approach people and talk and have those conversations that I don't think I would have been able to do had I not taken those business courses. Yeah, for sure. I know that I was very big into student council in high school and I went to the state level and the national level. And those are just some of my absolute best memories of all time. So I can only imagine how awesome your memories are that you have. Exactly. It's such a good time. And looking back, I'm like, I don't think I'd ever been able to like travel to Anaheim and travel to San Antonio had I not been in that organization. Mm -hmm. Of course. So we know that your father is the principal at South Harrison. How was having him there? Was he more of a mentor? Was he more was it like having your dad at school every single day? How was that like? Uh, it was definitely a really good time. And I think we got closer because I would see him all the time. But 
he always made sure to like kind of pick on me and if I was in a class he would just kind of call me out for random things but at the same time it was really nice to be able to go to him and ask questions and he's actually the reason I started in the business courses because he tries to get every student to at least take the business computers class so they have that foundation and through that I think I got into it more but it's also nice because now like all the people I went to school with knew me as we grew up we went to the same elementary school went to the same middle school so they also got to be close with him and kind of have a better relationship with their principal at times so it was nice to just kind of have that there even though I did never got sent to his office thankfully I did not know what would have happened if I would have done that well at least you knew him exactly but I always tell people he is very energetic in the morning he's a very early person and people would come in and they'd be like I just don't know how he's awake. And I'm like, yeah, he's that awake when he wakes me up in the morning. At least you don't have to deal with it then. Yeah. So that was actually going to be my next question. Since he is in the administrative side of things, he did inspire you, obviously, you just said, to get into the business administration and management course. Do you think he helped you through that at all? Or just, I know he tried to tell all of the students to really take those courses. But do you think even prior to him mentioning it, you saw him in that role and wanted to involve it or evolve into something that way? I think so. Um, I know he tries to do a really good job of making sure that not only are sports important, because we think that all the time, you're like, oh, there's a football game this weekend, I got to go. But he was also at like all of the FFA events. He was at all of my FBLA events. He was at the arts events, kind of showing that like you didn't have to be successful in one thing. And there's a lot of different avenues that you could go through and just kind of understanding that having like someone to support you through that. And I think he did that for a lot of students, just not me, but seeing that and it kind of give you reassurance that, okay, if I don't go to college and want to pursue agriculture a different way, that's still an option. And knowing that that's something important to your high school career as well. Sure. It seems to me you had this amazing, memorable four-year experience of high school, and it just seems like you really had the time of your life and really appreciate those memories and years that you look back on. Do you think that you feel the same way being at WBU, spending your college years there? Would, do you think it flew by or was a little bit slower than high school? Um, so I will actually be graduating in three years instead of the normal four. So it's been really fast, especially with the whole COVID situation that knocked out the majority. So this first year has been really my first year of college, although it's my last year of my undergraduate. Um, but being able to like use my skills that I've learned to get jobs on campus, to get internships, to be in student orgs and to be able to excel that way. It's been a lot of fun. I really don't want it to end. So I think I'm going to go to grad school just to keep going a few more years. But it's definitely been a really good experience and I couldn't have wanted anything more. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about your jobs and your internships that you have in college. Yeah, so I have been working in the business college um, IT department since I got on campus. So I've been there for about two and a half years now. Um, working about 20 hours a week with them trying to do things. I'm also currently a tutor for the college in um, business statistics, which is just like an entry level course that we have. Um, internship wise, I've been able to have quite a few at this point, um, starting out with Northwestern Mutual and their financial departments. I've been working for a nonprofit doing their marketing. I've done uh, Department of Transportation web development last summer, which was really fun. And then this summer, well, actually in a few weeks, I'm getting ready to start my summer internship a little bit early and work for a mortgage company out of New York remotely doing data analysis for them. Wow, that is very impressive. That all sounds so cool. And it looks like you're getting an amazing amount of experience. So good for you. Yeah, it's definitely been great to have that support. And I definitely think I wouldn't have been able to do it as much without having those core skills. So we talked about the business administration CTE course. You said that you were also in a digital media CTE course. Is that right? Yeah, so that one had classes like the web page development, the digital imaging and like the marketing classes. That enabled me to kind of go in kind of a different route, but at the same time stay in that business realm. Okay, how do you think that it allowed you to go into this route? I really think that's kind of where a lot of my marketing interest starts because I've worked in marketing forever now. 
even though that's not really what I'm pursuing, but being able to understand the multiple disciplines across business and being able to work that way has been super helpful, as well as taking like the AP CTE course so I could still have my honors credit and work that way, really worked with that as well. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned with the digital media course, you obviously did media, graphic design, website building. I think that's really important, especially now. Obviously, there was no way back then to predict the future, but with the recent events and COVID advertisement and digital marketing is just growing and booming right now. So I feel like no matter whatever anyone ends up with in life, if you have that background and you can use it to succeed in your business and your um, whatever it is, it's just always a very great key to have. No, it definitely is just that marketing key and being able to like understand how to technologically make those graphics and understanding the process behind it is super key. Mm -hmm. I am a social media manager, so I would have loved to take that course <laughs> to further me along. Well, so obviously this show is called What's Next. So you said you are thinking about grad school. You do have a summer internship coming up with a mortgage company. What what else do you think is next? Uh, what masters are you trying to get? What jobs are you trying to land? So I've applied to a few different master's programs with the same kind of end goal in mind. Um, the first one being I've applied to some public policy and some data analytics master's programs here at WVU, Carnegie Mellon, um, with actually a year in Adelaide, Australia, doing that master's, and then a few schools in London trying to work more in the international space doing cybersecurity policy. So understanding cyber crimes and how we can prevent and deter them across international borders is kind of the end goal right now. Not entirely sure how to get there. Well, we're taking it step by step. We'll figure it out as we go. Yes, you'll learn along the way. Exactly. Well, awesome. What do you think your five-year ideal plan is? Five-year ideal plan? Um, so I'll graduate in May, master's degree will put me in another year, and from there I'd really like to be learning the new language with moving to Europe, probably Italy or France right now. Um, so trying to get work in that space and hopefully be working for some type of government job, trying to get that policy positions. I'm just going to kind of go with the flow from there. Wow. Well, you are very inspiring, and I'm sure no matter what country you end up in, you will absolutely love it. I've been to London and Italy, and Italy has my heart, but they were both just such wonderful places and so much fun and such a good experience. So I hope you get that as well. Thank you. I actually just got back from Dubai about a month ago now from a study abroad trip. Oh. Just so much fun. So what did you do in Dubai? Anything with business, marketing? Yeah, so I took, it was a hospitality and tourism management class focused on creativity and innovation. Because Dubai actually has like the new parts of Dubai have been built in the last 20 years with a focus on technology and trying to stay ahead of the curve. Um, so we got to see like the Burj, Al, um, the Burj Khalifa, the Burj Al Allah. Um, went to Abu Dhabi and kind of saw like the world's largest mosques as well as the world expos there right now. Um, so basically what that is, it's like a small town almost with ex exhibitions from about 90 countries across the world where they showcase what their new issues and new policies are going to be resolving mobility and sustainability and creativity and innovation and how they're going to continue to develop through the future and work together as like a world and it's super good, super fun. I would go back in a heartbeat, even though I did manage to get COVID at the end of it. Oh, no. But it's okay. We're fully recovered, doing great. Good. Yeah, um, Abu Dhabi is on my bucket list of places to visit for sure. So I'm so happy for you. What did you learn from that trip, from that experience? I think a big thing that I learned is even though Obviously, Dubai is very far away from here. Um, they're not that different. They have the same goals in mind, and they want to 
use their creativity and use their skill sets to keep pushing for the future because their economy used to lie on the oil and gas industry. And now they're kind of trying to move away from that and create a more sustainable environment into the tourism industry and kind of how that transition works and how people flood to Dubai for these reasons and for the work and the new opportunities that are there. So trying to learn from that and also be able to create that environment in a different spot. Awesome. Wow. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Well, that is all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining us, Lauren. It was a pleasure having you on with us today. We wish you the best of luck. And that is all. We'll see you next time on What's Next. My name is Sierra Davis.